everyone so I'm sharing with you another review on the day to night palette from LA colors and this one is in sundown so want to hear my thoughts on this palette please continue watching purchased this palette from my local beauty supply store which is wonderful world and I paid 15 TT dollars which is like a little less than 250 US now I know that um, sometimes the Dollar Tree in the US carry these LA palettes not when they now come out but like later on a couple months after they have launched so you may find this in the Dollar Tree <clears throat> if you are in the US and LA Colors website any of those um, beauty supply stores or stores that sell these drugstore not drugstore these beauty supply beauty stores kind of brand like LA Colors, LA Girl um, Profusion those kind of um, brands you would more or less find this product contains 12 eyeshadows in this palette with a range from matte shimmers and I see one or two have glitters you have metallics here and <clears throat> I think in this line this day tonight line there were like about 12 options I did pick up another one and I did um, do a review on it already we'll try and link it in the description bar below I also have pictures on Instagram so you can check out at Rowana V excuse my throat by the way I'm deaf I'm now getting over the call um, you would have seen some uploads that I did pre-record um, this most likely is going to be in my little bank of videos to upload but I got the call for a while and it just the cough did not leave me and I always struggling for my voice so when I talk a lot and I plan to do a couple videos today and some vlogs that I'll be adding in between and my voice is actually going so bear with me I love this was a f I grabbed this one first before the other one and then I was like oh my gosh I have so many of these colors this is like so typical me and I decided to step on my comfort zone and pick up the other one and when I was going to use them first I picked up the I picked up this and I said no I'm going to try and use the other one and I fell in love with it I've learned that these 12 pan shadows they generally have pretty decent pigmentation I'm not talking about like high-end quality or luxury line quality but for the price they are you do get good enough quality and you get eight grams of product among the 12 eyeshadows that's here and they are the mattes have a little chalkiness to them and some some kick up but they do apply well they blend well they just don't fade away in you just don't fade away on your eyes and <clears throat> the shimmers and the metallics are the ones with the crazy pigmentation but all in all I love these this is like I think I did a video a couple years back with another 12 pan that I said was like a dupe to like the Naked Basics palette and then I bought a green one I had green colors in it I had a blue one um, then the one another one from this day tonight so I've had a couple of these and I'm absolutely in love I only sold one in a block sale out of the five that I purchased and I have four in my collection still so that's to tell you how much I really like these and how <sighs> I, I think that they are a great bang for your buck if you are a beauty on a budget person and you want expensive inexpensive shadows LA colors have been up in their game definitely recommend them now on a little side note I know I've got bash on this channel for talking about fall and I'm in the Caribbean and but there's a trend that goes around fall time and everybody's into all these warm colors I wear warm colors generally on a regular basis all the time so if you like palettes that have warm colors then this generally is for you there's like two cool tone three cool tone like and this is a bit neutral but that's cool tone and then this color here is more cool tone but 
overall they are warm colors if you if you want to get a palette with like really warm tone like you know like how the morph you have the 35 which everyone is trying to get a dupe for excuse me then i like i used the orange here and i think it worked pretty well and i've used it before and it it lasts all day on my lid so more or less i think this can work i won't of course i'm not gonna say i do for the 35 oh but for just those palettes that have these nice warm fall colors trendy colors that are in now definitely definitely would recommend this i am in love with it so onto the swatches i talked a lot i'm actually gonna do the, the six in the middle here and then the three on either side so this has some glitter in it but it does not transfer the glitter doesn't really transfer it more or less applies like a satin color then this is a kind of pale rose morph color it's, it's very unique and weird it does not pick up well on my skin skin tone i can actually even get away with this as in blending this in my crease then this like cool tone kind of khaki color and then you have a nice cream color hole which I use as like I blend these two together and use them as transition colors so I'm gonna swatch these four quickly on my hand and then do the others so you can see the pigmentation and these two of course like I said are the matte colors these two here are matte colors so then we have the color that I do have on my lid I must admit I did have to do a little packing on I've used this color if you know can you see how <clears throat> the sink in that color I've that's like my go-to color in this palette like a champagne color on my lid and then you have this kind of looks like almost ugly mustard color but I like it I actually have it right in my transition too but I want to wear it on my lid and see and then that brown that's here is oh my gosh pigmented it's a like crazy pigmentation there so somewhat like the darker color had a little kick up there and you can see this one had a little kick up but it melts into your skin like melts into your skin then the last four I will leave that black <clears throat> for my pinky finger to swipe we have this color over here it's like a brown chocolate color this is a nice <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry taupe color my finger a little chubby it wasn't going in a matte brown that is you can actually for those of our darker skin tone use this color for your brows I wouldn't be able to and then you have that matte black that is crazy So I want to just build these two, this, that taupe color up a little, and also this one. It's not looking that pigmented. That would be these two, but they actually are pigmented. This makes a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous smoky, and that's a nice taupe color. I've actually wor worn that taupe color for quick on the go but look at the pigmentation generally only what two colors I went back and I swiped again I am in love with overall with these palettes and I like the color payoff I like the wear they blend well they stay on long I really don't have any complaints with it Totally recommended beauty on a budget inexpensive palette <clears throat> if you can get it if you have a lot of neutral palettes and you have these colors then no this is not necessary if you just want to get a nice little eyeshadow palette cheer me up pick me up and you like these colors this is definitely a nice little something you can get for yourself that I do think it's not gonna sit in your collection and um, I do think you will use this I thought initially that I wouldn't have used it but ugh, I have been grabbing it um ever so often to use and i like the orange here i don't know something about the orange grabs uh, my attention <clears throat> as again some of the orange in my other palettes 
I do plan to do a review on the AliExpress 35 Bala that I got so that review will come sometime soon and well I'm trying to get out reviews so look out for some reviews if you have any special requests any item in particular you want me to review leave it in the comment center section below so I can actually work on those before some of the others that I have made a list on thanks for your time sorry for the long rambling and the talking hope everything is okay with you all and that you enjoyed this review it was beneficial to you and until next time